Hello and welcome to Joomla Development 101. In this lecture we're going to be focusing on testing processes. Particularly we're going to look at why you should do testing, what types of testing there are, and then we'll look at some resources you can use to begin implementing testing throughout your code. So the first thing we want to look at is why do testing. It's extremely important that you test your code. First, it ensures code stability. It makes sure that the code that you write is going to run and run the same every time you run it. It gives you a way of making sure that your code is indeed correct. Secondly, with testing, you can construct tests so that you can then experiment with different environments. This is particularly important if you're providing your code for your users to install on their own servers. Every server can be different, and you have to be able to take that into account when creating your code. Therefore, testing allows you to see how your code will work in a variety of environments. And lastly, it helps you to be sure that the code changes you make are correct. As your code base grows and gets larger and larger, it can become difficult to know whether or not a change you make in one file will affect the outcome of a different file. Having strict testing created and running every time you commit will ensure that your code is safe, is successful, and executes the same every time, regardless of a change that you might make. Next, let's look at the types of testing. There are three main types of testing we're going to focus on. The first is acceptance testing, secondly, functional testing, and lastly, unit testing. Of those three, you're probably most familiar with the third unit testing option. Let's start though by looking at acceptance testing. With acceptance testing, we are looking at browser-based type of testing. This is something that you would find with a tool like Selenium. Basically, in another word, this is visual testing. This is where we're testing the code to make sure that clicking on the link redirects us to a certain page or that performing a certain action in the web browser is going to result in the same result each time. This type of testing is sometimes the easiest to create and yet also takes the most time. The second type of testing we're going to look at is functional testing. Functional testing is often considered framework level testing. This is when you test the functionality of the interlinking bits of the entire system. Functional tests do not use a web server. These are tests that are run from a test folder by the server itself and does not involve a graphical user interface of any kind. This is where testing looks at the entire system that you've written and how the different pieces are interacting. And then the last type, which is obviously most common, is unit testing. Unit tests are run on specific functions to test validity and outcome of those functions. The most well-known unit testing method is PHP unit. There are a variety of options when looking at unit testing or when looking at functional testing, which you can do automatically every time you commit. These tools are called continuous integration tools. If you look online, you will be able to find a variety of continuous integration or CI tools that are available, the most popular ones being Travis and Jenkins. Travis provides an open source free online tool that will automatically check your code against your unit test every time you commit to a branch. Travis and unit testing and using a continuous integration method is what is done by the Joomla CMS. Learning more. When you come to testing, obviously this is just briefly touching on the surface of each of those types. To get more information, I recommend looking at Codeception.com. This website will provide an easy way of looking at the three different types of testing and get you started writing those tests. They don't have to be complicated or tricky, and although PHP unit can be and although PHP unit can sometimes be considered more of an art than a science, Codeception gives you an opportunity to look at guides, techniques, and references to help you as you write your code. 
That's basically a rough overview of the testing processes that we're going to cover, but I may return to unit testing as we work through the lectures. In different sections, it may become necessary to review unit testing or even to write some samples of unit tests as we commit our code for plugins, modules, and components. If you have questions about unit testing or functional or acceptance testing, please don't hesitate to ask. The goal is to remember that 100% test coverage on your code is the most important thing. Thanks for listening.